Today is Monday, March 7th, 2016. This is the view from my balcony, and you're just checking out the time lapse with me. This is from the late morning. The chemtrails are getting pretty bad, the cumulative effects. You can tell how gray it is there. And really, it should be about that blue color in the lower right hand corner. You know, the hexagon hypothesis, where I provide that the sun is artificial and somewhere closer to us. I recorded some things today uh, where it makes me doubt it, you know, even though like in this clip the sun is hexagonal. At times I would shift my camera a little and the hexagon would shift with it, which indicates that it may be the camera that does that. But there are other times when I'm shooting and there are obvious aspects of the sun being much closer than it's supposed to be. I'm going to run through some of these stills with you first. And you can see as these two clouds move into the sun that the sun appears to be illuminating them from the underside and not from behind it 93 million miles away. In one of the slides, as you can see, there is no lighting adjacent to one of the lit areas and if the sun were behind it you would expect it to be equally lit. So here comes the clip and see what I mean it looks like the sun is in front of the clouds I mean look at how they're not lit from the back. Now in this next one pay attention to the right hand side cloud the one from which the sun is leaving and take a look at the light pattern on it as it leaves. It looks like, and I do believe, the sun is directly adjacent to it. I mean, this is some very peculiar lighting. We don't ever see this with the sun in space. It just wouldn't have that dramatic an effect. You can see also that the sun is shining directly onto some clouds that look like they're slightly above or behind it. Something else I've noticed is this rainbow aura that accompanies the sun. And you can see it in several of the earlier clips too. I'll close this video with some footage of what started it all and what I'm still spotting, which is the little white sun. And we still don't know what it is, but it's around. Well, the hypothesis is undergoing some revision. It was obviously disappointing to find that it may be a camera effect that helped create the hexagon. However, I'm not definite it is, and I'm going to take a look and investigate more. Also, it's possible that an incorrect lead led us to the right conclusion. After all, it does look like the sun is local next to the clouds, and there is this phenomenon of the little white sun here. Those are difficult to ignore, and we've established those beyond camera artifact or any question. So stick with me here and uh, maybe we'll make some sense of this whole thing. Thanks a lot to my viewers, everybody who wrote comments. Take care. Have a great day, guys. Peace.